welcome to another movie plot and enjoy the memories. In 1382, two brothers with a unique bloodline were transformed after one was bitten by a bat and the other a wolf. Unlike his vampiric brother, William became a savage beast that tore through the Hungarian countryside unable to return to his human form. In order to combat this bloodline of wild werewolves one of the elder vampires Victor created an army of nocturnal knights, who offer their protection to human villagers in exchange for treasures and their prisoners for food. His coven dig their fortress deep into the side of a cliff face for shade and go out hunting when the sun sets. During the delivery of his tribute, the owner of a large silver mine remarks to the other humans about how evil their protector looks, so the angry victor tosses the man aside killing him to keep the remainder silent and his species a secret. One night during a raid a pregnant werewolves captured and held in the dungeon beneath the castle. It gives birth to a human that Victor decides to spare, but only to use its blood to create an army of lichens for defending his stronghold during the daylight hours when his species slumber. As he grows up the lichens train to fight and show strength and speed that even the vampires struggle to match. He's raised under Victor's roof with his similarly aged daughter, and 20 years later becomes the vampire's blacksmith and is treated little better than a dog. Lucian's forced to wear a spiked collar that physically prevents the transformation, and spends his days making silver weapons for his captors to use against his own kind. As the vampire council meets it's brought to Victor's attention by Coleman that his daughter is not present for their meeting. The elder asks the keeper of the archives Tannis to locate her before hearing his fellow council member's suggestion. He wants to breed a noble class of lichens led to patrol outside of the walls during the day like the vampires do at night, but Victor scoffs at the idea and only trusts his slaves to remain chained up at the castle. Outside the walls on patrols Victor's daughter and a death dealer herself Sonia. She suddenly takes off back to the stronghold with a pack of wild werewolves hot in pursuit. The horses are slightly slower than the lichens resulting in multiple close calls as she clears the forest and makes for the front of the castle. Lucian hears the werewolves approaching and sees the guards preparing to defend the stronghold. They fire ballistas but the wolves are able to slip every one of the arrows. The blacksmith picks up a modified crossbow and accurately snipes the whole pack with a single bolt each, leaving the final lichen's corpse to slide into the courtyard. Victor's rebellious daughter talks down to Lucian like all the other vampires but is just trying to act tough in front of her father. When Sonia rides off, the elder notices Lucian looking at his daughter and warns him to keep his eyes down if he values his life. The lichens are kept in human form to extend the shadowy fortress under the watch of Victor's jailer Costa. He taunts them with scraps letting them fight amongst themselves to maintain their subjugation. One day he's prevented in his duties by Lucian, who he threatens to be there the moment the pet falls out of favor with his master Victor. The other slaves notice these small acts of defiance but don't yet have a means or leadership to revolt. Inside the keep Victor reprimands Sonia for missing the council meeting but is more discomforted by her disloyalty to her family. Later that night, Lucian sneaks away through a grate beneath his workshop and meets up with Sonia in secret. They've been in a relationship since they were young and have managed to keep their love a secret. During their pillow talk Lucian reveals that he's made a key that'll unlock his collar and allow him to escape. He asks Sonia to leave with him but she begs him to never use it or else be hunted down. While they're meeting Tannis finds the vampire's chambers empty and discovers her relationship with Lucian. Though he tells Victor nothing of it out of fear of what the elder may do to him. That night the vampires meet with a noble family from the village to trade slaves in exchange for protection. Sonia retrieves her sword from the blacksmith and takes her group of death dealers to the forest to join the guards. When they reach the others they hear the howls of a large wolf pack that only Lucian's able to hear from the stronghold. He tries to warn Costa but when he refuses to listen he steals his sword and horse and rides off to save them alone. The werewolves attack from tunnels beneath the ground and a violent skirmish erupts with the beasts seemingly endless. The nobles are slaughtered along with their handcuffed and blindfolded slaves who stood no chance, except for the well-fed Rays who's able to hold them off long enough to survive. Arriving just in time to see Sonia knocked off her horse into a tunnel, she's able to kill an advancing werewolf but is saved by Lucian who stops a second in its tracks. When they get back up they see they've become overrun so he uses the key to remove his collar. Lucian instantly shifts into a much larger lichen than the savages and his roar causes them all to back down and retreat. Despite being able to control himself, Lucian's shot down by Victor's death dealers and returns to his human form. The Elder states that Lucian's broken one of the laws of the coven by taking off the collar and slaps him around a little bit. Ignoring Sonia's cries that it was only to save her, Victor has him tied up in public and receive 50 lashes from our good friend Costa. Using a three-pronged whip he destroys Lucy's back in front of the council members and slaves alike. Everyone begins to feel unsettled, and Coleman warns Victor that the beating could stir up the other lichens if this is how they treat their favorite, but the elder shuts the councilman's opinion down once again. 
Lucian's then thrown into the dungeons inside a cell between the humans and Lycan prisoners, but is only given assistance by Rays as the others all fear Victor's retribution. When recovered the two begin to talk about werewolves which Rays thought to only exist in stories. Lucian explains that his bloodline can transform while Williams are uncontrollable savages wanting nothing more than defeat. Rays reminds Lucian that they all answered to his roar no matter the bloodline, so Victor plans to have him executed as a security measure and asks Sonia who she recommends as his replacement. With this information she visits the prisoner but says that her death dealers are more loyal to her father and won't help. Earlier in passing Tannis implied that he knows Lucian's secret but has kept it to himself. So Lucian asks Sonia to seek out his assistance and see what he wants from them. The sniveling traitor explains that he wants a seat on the vampire council so the member Sonia plans to give him her should he help them escape. Tannis slips Lucian a spare key to unlock his collar and tells him to meet with Sonia outside the castle walls after getting out. When the full moon rises, Rays is taken away with the other humans to be bitten by a werewolf and join Victor's workforce. When they return he's told by Lucian his plan to escape at dawn and begins to rally the other prisoners. In the morning the others tell Costa that Lucian's escaped with the removed collar as proof, and when he opens the gate the hiding Lucian tears him to shreds. They free dozens of slaves during their escape but guards are alerted and use their ballistas as barricades. Enough of the arrows create a wall preventing the majority from escaping and Lucian's forced to leave them behind, as he tackles two vampire guards into the daylight and they disintegrate. Only Rays with his new powers and a handful of the prisoners escape, and all flee into the woods while Victor watches from a shadowy hole in the mountain. He immediately orders the execution of Tannis who he suspects of betrayal, so the terrified vampire frantically searches through the armory to show that he still has the confiscated key to the collar. Having never doubted him for a moment, Victor then goes to his blacksmith's workshop and discovers the loose grate used to visit Sonia. He suspected for a long time a connection between them but has forced himself not to believe it. When she denies his questions he bites her neck seeing all of her good times with Lucian. He completely disowns her seeing this as an act of betrayal and imprisons her inside her room. Outside the castle wall Lucian sends Rays to gather more men from nearby settlements and he goes into the hills alone to get more help. He visits the overpopulated den of a large pack of Williams wolves to recruit them to help. They non-verbally agree by not killing him, and Lucian returns to the camp to find that Sonia still hasn't arrived to meet him. A loyal vampire messenger delivers the news that her friend's been arrested and is scheduled for execution. Hearing this Lucian puts Rays in charge of the troops and takes off alone to rescue her. He's able to sneak inside the castle and pass the entire garrison unnoticed until he comes to her bedroom door. Splitting the death dealers guarding it up for easier kills, he reaches Sonia and they begin to make their escape. Lucian leads her through the grate in his workshop but Victor's predicted this. He drops barrels of pitch into the tunnels to be lit on fire and has barred their only way out. With no other option they decide to confront their attackers head on and begin to kill Sonia's own people until she's met by her father. His death dealers take Lucian hostage and the two council members duel, with Sonia holding back briefly but still getting the win with her swordsmanship. She begs her father to spare their lives for the sake of his unborn grandchild, but Victor's repulsed at the mention of the abominable offspring and draws a hidden blade to take her hostage. He imprisons them beside one another where they reassure their love before being put on trial. Sonia's read out her crime by Coleman as co-mingling of the bloodlines with the punishment being death. They go around the room and all of the council members unanimously agree with the verdict, including her own father to everyone's surprise. The couple are taken to the execution chamber and chained up facing each other to witness their punishments. After a few standard floggings for Lucian the vampires exit the room and leave him alone to watch. The ceiling begins to open and the two only have a brief few words to say to each other, before sunlight streams in and Sonia's burned alive in seconds. After spending the day in mourning, Victor enters and retrieves the locket that he gave his daughter when she was young. He's left it too long before returning, and the full moon shines through allowing the still colorless Lucian to transform. Knocking Victor away, he snatches the locket and attempts to make it to the exterior wall but is captured by a barrage of arrows holding him back. He's able to let out a loud roar across the land being heard by rays in the entire forest. The Howl summons William's werewolves who are joined by Lucian's lichens in charging the stronghold. The defenses are unable to do anything against the vast numbers, and the horde easily overrun the castle running straight up the walls and killing the archers. A large battle begins as the council attempts to escape but are all killed without putting up a fight. Rays finds Lucian already recovering and is sent to go rescue the rest of the enslaved Lycans from the dungeons, who he then joins with his first transformation and gets in on the action. Victor and his personal guard join the battle but are spotted by Lucian who goes at him from across the courtyard. When the cowardly elder sees the leader fighting his way towards him, he flees into the tunnels knowing the battle's lost. He has Tannis retrieve the other elders who are still slumbering in their coffins and sneaks them out of the city by boat. 
Lucian catches up to Victor since he never runs and the two begin to duel with Victor being the better swordsman. They continue through the dungeons until Lucian knocks Victor into a well and makes a hole in the roof by pulling at a chain, letting in sunlight that traps Victor against the side of the well. It allows Lucian to give a final sign off and force his revenge through the vampire skull. Victor's body collapses into the water below and the victorious Lucian exits to the cheers of his new people. He declares this to only be the beginning of a centuries-long war between the two bloodlines, as we're shown a still-living Victor joining his fellow elders in hibernation. And the movie ends.